Hello everybody and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from just a regular dude. Where I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, and I review YouTube channels. And I just do whatever the hell I want. You remember them old training videos? I remember watching a lot of those when I was just out of high school. I worked for the Sizzler, Sizzler Steakhouse, and we had to watch those training videos. And then I worked for a fast food place called D's Drive-In. I don't remember any training videos from there, actually, though. And then Walmart. Walmart has tons of them. Tons of training videos. But we're going to look at an old training video from, I believe it's the 80s or 90s, for Wendy's. So, these things are funny. Because they're, they're just so cheesy. The acting's bad. Everything in them... It's, it's really cheesy. So let's check this out right now. This is called Wendy's Grill Skills. Grill Skills. Jamming music. Grill Skills. Grill Skills. Hi. Hi. I'm Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. From the day I opened the first Wendy's, my goal has been to serve the best hamburger I in the he business. Was dead. A Wendy's old fashioned hamburger. Duh, so Gene. I this is from the, the 90s. I started with beef I could find 100% pure beef, never frozen. And we patted it into squares so the hamburger hangs over the side of the bun. Then we cooked the patty slowly to seal in its natural juices and served it hot off the grill with a customer's choice of toppings. No other hamburger chain can make those claims. That's what sets us apart from our competition, and that's why our customers come to Wendy's. I believe you know, I gotta say though, out of all the fast food places, Wendy's probably does have one of the best hamburgers, in my opinion, but also the most priciest, in my opinion. I still would rather just go to Burger King if I'm going to go to fast food. It's cheaper and it's fine. It's it's just fine. McDonald's is probably the last place I'd go. The only way to make a Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger is to press the meat patty. Pressing the meat patty is really important and here's why. The patty tastes better because the salt is pressed into the meat and makes the meat more tender. It also makes the patty larger so they'll hang over the edge of the bun and people will like that. Pressing the hamburger patty requires skill and dedication. You have to- It probably also would make it cook a little bit better because if you sit it in there in a big ball, it's gonna be raw on the inside. Just, hey, I'm pretty smart, huh? Pretty smart guy. Watch over the patties constantly as they cook. You should always serve a perfect Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburger. The one that you would serve to your best friend. You have one of the most important jobs at Wendy's. Right now, I want you to devote your full attention to learning the new four corner press procedures for cooking Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. And while you're doing that, I am going to have a hot and juicy hamburger with mustard, pickle, and onion. No mayonnaise? What the hell? Sounds like Dave Thomas is getting rid of that hamburger. Hey Greg, what's up? Not much. Mary's up front, she wants to see you. Right. Mary wants to see him. Hi, Bill. Hey. Make sure you start every 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Mary, what's up? I'm going to pull you off fries today because I want you to learn grill. Have you clocked in? Yeah. Let's get started. You're familiar with the grill, but let me show you a few things you might not already know. The meat is here in the cold well, and the cheese is over here. The bun warmer up above keeps the buns warm and fresh. Remember, we serve 100% pure ground does? meat. 
it's patted into squares so that the meat hangs over the bun. Yeah. Now the tape yeah. I'm going to show you. Dave Thomas said that. There's a crew guide and the grill training tape. Why don't you have a look at the tape first, and I'll check back with you in a few minutes. All right. That's ready to go. A towel to keep your station looking cool. But most of all, you got to have your tool. <laughs> Are you with me now? Gotta Get have ready. Your tool. We're gonna lay them down. Now beats got grain to it just like wood. You got to follow the arrow to lay it down like you should. From the front to the back, you got to lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered around. Next, you got to salt the meat from the back to the front to make the taste complete. Not too little, not too much. With a little finesse, you'll get the touch. What's coming up next is our key to success. We'll turn the meat and do a four corner press. Don't wait too long, I emphasize, or the meat won't reach the proper side. When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn this the meat, great. but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken penny, that's a guarantee. Press out the corners, one, two, three, four. Rock it a bit, are you keeping score? Top and bottom, left and right, and you'll get a patty that's out of sight. Press out the Four corners, corner nice press. and wide, at least half an inch on both sides. The reason you press, you gotta think, when the meat hits the grill, it starts to shrink. We start shrinking when we hit that yeah, grill. Yeah, so it's you know making it look wins. bigger we than it really is. When we hit that grill, you know it will. Wow. When you see red juices on the top of the meat, it's time to give the turn and press a repeat. Do it again just like you did before. Do the four corner press just one time more. Now once you press this the second time, don't press them again because the meat's just fine. But when you see red juices rise, turn the patty over to the other side. Don't scrape the grill, we want it wet, you see. And keep the meat moist so it's hot, you see. When the meat's red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty, it'll win a prize. Now he's got some bling. To cook, but just to make sure you can have a look. Use your tool and double check. It should be great and moist to be correct. And order this place, you're ready to go. Drain the meat just like so. Once the draining is totally done, place the patty squarely on the hill of that bun. Now there you go, Billy. You give it a shot. Don't be afraid. I think you're going to be hot. Where do I That's start? That's great. What do I do? Just remember the rap, Billy, and you'll be cool. Well, meat's got grain to it. Just like wood. Follow the arrows. Just lay it down like you should. From front to back, lay it down. Space it evenly, not scattered all around. Next, I've got to salt the meat. From the back to the front, it makes the taste complete. Not too little. Not too much. With the little finesse, I think I'm getting the touch. Hey! When things start to sizzle, you're ready to go. Gently turn the meat, but don't be slow. Just turn them over easily. We don't want a broken patty. <laughs> That's a guarantee. Uh, press them now, oh, this right? This is ridiculous. Top and bottom, left and right. Press out the corners nice and wide, about half an inch on every side. Try choking up a bit on the spatula. Oh, you're a pro, right. dude. How's it feel to be okay. a professional What's burger next? cooker? Let me see. I've salted, turned, pressed. Oh, yeah. Gotta when eat you it now. see red that juices is? on the top of the meat, no. it's time to give them a turn, then press a repeat. Do it again oh. just like you did it before. Do the four corner press just one time more.
Once you press it the second time, don't press it again, because the meat's just fine. But when you see those juices rise... You can turn that patty to the other side. Don't scrape the grill. We want it wet, you see. It keeps the meat moist, so it's hot and juicy. And when those red juices no longer rise, you can serve that patty. It'll win a... Prize. It takes just about four minutes to... Cook. But just to make sure you can take a... Look. Use your tool to double check. It should be great and moist. To, to be, be correct. correct. Hey! When an order's placed, you're ready to go. Okay, Just drain that, the that's meat. great. Just like that's, so. I'm going to stop it right then there. When... If you want to see it, I'll leave a link down below. This is great, though. It's from the channel Matthew Purdue. Wendy's Grill Skills. <sighs> Does that make you want to go to work at Wendy's? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that. And let's get on with the joke of the day. My friend keeps trying to convince me that he's a compulsive liar, but I don't believe him. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And I will see you next time.